This is my incredibly awesome interactive card project. Interactive how you say? Ah, ah, let me show you. If we click on Mr. Dino, it becomes night. If I release the mouse, not night. And watch this. You think it's ice, right? <gasps> and it's a bear. Roar. And, and, and. Not bear. Bear. Night. So, this is my project from code.org, CS Discoveries, Unit 3, which is Animation and Games, Lesson 14. I'm just going to go through this code real quick. In the description, I will place a link to the videos of me working through each part of this lesson. So, if you want a bit more detailed explanation of the code and its creation, those videos will be linked below. Now, this will be a quick explanation of the project. Uh, to show you how I built it and why it works and how it works. I'm also going to post a link to this in the description. So you can look at the code. You can uh, mess around with it yourself. Keep in mind, do not just copy my code. That is plagiarism. That is an issue. Yes, you can plagiarize code. It is called plagiarism. All right. So do not just copy my code, but I would like for you to explore it. Hopefully it helps you in your project and gives you ideas. So the link to this will be in the description. Let's start going through this. I start with a variable count and we're going to see that again. So I'm not going to totally go through that. The sun size uh, is random. I set it to 30 and then plus or minus 40. And I just thought that is kind of a fun little feature I could add. Now, um, Sun size is just a variable, right? So I'll show you where this sun size variable comes into play. Now, dino equals, this is my dinosaur sprite, and I, I take my dino image and animation, right? And here's the animations I used. I don't think I used the polar bear. Here's the animations I used. And I assign that animation, tyrannosaur, one to the dino. Alright, I set my dino scale to 0 0.4 because one is a hundred percent. My giraffe's name is Jeff because I decided that. Jeff's uh, giraffe uh, animation is here. Jeff is at 0 0.5 which is half scale or 50 percent and then my ice sprite. So I don't set the animation for my ice sprite because my ice sprite can change animation. So I set that animation somewhere down here. All right. Now let's drop into my draw loop. Remember draw runs 30 times a second. It is running constantly. So no stroke. I put this way at the top because I don't want an outline on any of my shapes. Right. And then my background is right underneath this. Oh no. If. So I have an if statement. Press down over dino. And this is how I make it night if I'm clicking on the dinosaur. But uh And if I release it, right? So if I click dark blue, gray, ellipse, okay? So I make a gray circle over our sun, right? Else, and so if this isn't true, meaning if mouse isn't down, all of this code is skipped, and what runs is our, the code in the else. So... The background's light blue, like right now, because I'm not holding the mouse down. The sun is... Oh, and draw a yellow sun. Now, what size of sun? That's why I'm using this sun size. This is a variable that's equal to 30 plus a random number. So, I wanted the moon and the sun to be the same size. So, I'm using sun size for both. And then I can still make, each time I hit run, this number change a bit. So my sun can be a different size, and my moon will still be the exact same size, because I have a variable. All right, now, after this, I have another if. If left button, which is the normal click, went down, count one. So I only want to add one to the count if the mouse is actually being clicked. Now, if mouse pressed over Jeff, count equals zero, which is going to come into play in a second. If count 
is greater than three. So if it's greater than three, set animation to bear fish. So if I click the mouse anywhere on the screen, the ice becomes a bear fish. Now, if I want to reset it, boom, anywhere on the screen, click three, boom. So, and that's because it resets count to zero and this doesn't run anymore. Since it runs 30 times a second, we are constantly looping through all of this, running all of this code. It checks, is the mouse still down? It checks 30 times a second if my mouse is still down, which is why if I release my mouse right now, it changes instantly. Now, if it went down, again, it's checking constantly. If it does, we're going to add one to our count variable. And once it goes down three times, pada. Once it goes down three times, the computer 30 times a second is checking, wait, is count still greater than three? Well, then the ice is going to be set to bear fish. Scale is going to be this. Oh, I forgot. And if it's... Oh, and if it's greater than six, it becomes a polar bear if the mouse is above 200. And I figured that out here. So if there's more clicks than six on my screen and my mouse is greater than my Y coordinate is less than 200, it is a polar bear. And then else, so if it's not greater than three, it's definitely just an ice rock. If it's greater than three, I then check if it's greater than six and my mouse is up here. Bill White. Um, so now I'm just making the rectangle for the ground. I put the text size best friends. I draw my sprites. And that's the full animation that just keeps looping through. So again, I'm going to put mine uh, in the description. You should make something off awesome yourself make sure not to just copy mine and share it below i'd love to see all the interesting creations that comes out of the interactive card lesson